Hi, das ist Vicky von Rebounding und ich interviewe heute für euch Paul und Chris von The Flatliners. <lacht> Paul. Paul. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Happens all the time. Really? All the time. I don't know how. You're like twins and things? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. <laughs> no, I saw uh, that you were drinking tea and uh, yes, and you were a little bit ill. You're very sick. Yeah. You're very sick? I don't feel well. You couldn't uh, play at the Ramones Museum today? It would have been a bad idea. It would have been very fun, but I would have not been able to do the show tonight probably. So yeah. I didn't decide, which was a tough decision. Yes. I understand that, and uh, but you are able to play tonight. Well, I hope so. <laughs> we'll see. Yes. Uh, and a few weeks ago, you were at the fest. You were playing at the fest. That's why I'm so sick. Really? <laughs> Probably. What's happening? Um, for the last couple of years, people have invented this sickness called Fest Ace. <laughs> you get after fest. Okay. It's really, it's probably not the best name, but uh, <laughs> it's worse every year. Yeah, people people get really sick from the holiday fest. It's a lot of smoking inside and drinking really drinking beer. all weekend, great beer yeah. all day, all all weekend. Yeah. Yeah, but I think you you are touring so much. You are not in training. I know you you think that my body can handle it, but it's just at that time of year every year. That's when my body decides to just break down. <laughs> it's not just oh yours. God. Yeah, it's everybody's. Yeah. I'll live. But you are okay. I left a day early, and I think it saved me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Saving your life. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. And uh, what were uh, your other experiences from the fest? Was it good? It was or great. Yeah. We saw a lot of great bands. It was, it was longer this year. It's usually only three days, but it was two days in Tampa and four days in Gainesville, so it was almost an entire week. Yeah. And it was. Uh, that's great. I mean, they always have like a cover show at the end of the weekend at the Holiday Inn, which is like the main hub. Like the that's where everyone gets sick. Yeah, and uh, it's always like a cover show. So Ostapai, who runs right now, did a whole steady cover set. Uh, members of White Washington, which is also members of Anti Flight, did. I guess all of Dookie, and they did a couple songs, I believe, off of that song. But that type of night. I don't remember much. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was really fun though. I was like, that, that's always one of the best parts of the whole weekend. That's the very end. It's the very end. It's the very last show. Way to rub it in. The thing I missed. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, which uh, shows have you seen? Painted Black. Uh, you mean just the fest? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, a lot of bands. Almost too many to name. What was the, uh, the best? My, my favorite was definitely the cover show, but uh, <laughs> second favorite was uh, it's always Dillinger 4 and uh, Team Mean Jeans, finally. It was awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. Okay. And, and the Sidekicks. That was one of the best ah, sets I saw. Okay. Actually, it was probably the best set I saw. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, they're so good. Yeah. So, um, you are very busy at the moment, touring new album and stuff like that. Uh, that needs a lot of energy, I think. Coffee needs a lot of coffee. coffee. Yeah. We're actually always like this, just, <laughs> and then we have to play. And just the adrenaline kicks in, and then after that, just like Roberters. What's that? Like Roberts. Robots. Robbers. Roberts. Roberts. Yes. Like who's, there? Mm. who's Robert? Oh, robots. 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 Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, it's no problem. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Adrenaline kicks in, and then after that, you just unplug us and. <laughs> I try to use the least amount of energy before a show. Okay. Yeah. Save it all up. Save it all up. Coffee. Save it all up. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's great. No cocaine? No. No. <laughs> no. Um, what do you think, what is the most important thing uh, which you have with you on tour? Right now I'm going to need throat lozenges uh, <laughs> and good friends to help me out. Yeah. It's very true though. No, very no pillow to great. cuddle or something uh, like that? No? Having a guitar is nice. Yeah. The first show we played with oh, all, yes, all so. of Ostapai's equipment because ours got lost. And then we got it the day later. Some of my equipment has, I think, been lost forever. But oh it's, just, it's just pedals and cables. It's, it's okay. If it was a guitar, it would be much worse. So. Your lucky skull hand. I know, my lucky skull hand is gone. Mm -hmm. or, uh, I had this like, oh, skeleton it's hand. It's like a plastic. Plastic, like, skeleton hand toy kind of thing. I've had for years, and it was in my cable bag, which was in a suitcase, and that, I think that suitcase is gone forever. So that oh skeleton God. hand is gone forever. Wait, where, where do you lost it? Uh, the air, the airline lost it. We left the it. Airline. We left it without, and they lost it. Shit. Yeah. Austrian Airlines. <laughs> 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 
Um, and you? Uh, I was thinking about this. My iPod. And coffee. And coffee, yeah. I didn't bring any coffee with it, but there's always really good coffee. Oh, yeah. 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 I like so a flat you can just find like the, all those little coffee machines at all the gas stations and truck stops. It's yeah. It's a machine. It's just great. It's, you know? Yes. It's, it's like some of the best coffee I've ever had was at a truck stop in Spain, and it just came out of this like this machine with barely anything written on it. I just knew that that button was coffee somehow, and it was that much coffee, but it was yeah. so good. Yeah. Incredible. Magic. Magic. Wow. No. <laughs> Yeah, before uh, the release of your new album, Dead Language, you did <laughs> you did a uh, um, seven inch with uh, Make Do and Then. How did that happen? It was actually kind of weird how that happened because we never met them before. I I'd met them at the best. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I had never met them, but we never played with we them. Never played with them. Other than a show at like a festival. Yeah. Um, yeah, they just approached us through some mutual friends saying that they wanted to. Yeah. Put out a seven inch, they had two new songs they were working on. And uh, and, uh <laughs> we at the time it was like just a good timing, I guess, because we wrote about 20 songs around dead language. And then we were kind of starting to think of what songs we wanted to keep off the album, what songs we were gonna put on the album and everything like that. So it actually worked out that they caught us at that time and shows two and but I don't know, we still never played a show with them. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Yeah, maybe I hope one day. Yeah. Daggers is really fun to play live, but we're really happy. Oh. People really like that song and his acoustic rendition of that stuff. We wanted to show people the, the full band. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. And um, during the last three years, you were writing on the record, on the bad language. Uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. And, very um, much. The whole time. I, the whole time? <laughs> very, very slowly. <laughs> yeah. not, not the whole time. <laughs> but. Yeah, I understand. And I read that um, there were some big changes in your life. Oh yeah. And uh, what was the biggest influence from that for uh, the songwriting? Uh, uh, you get stabbed in the back by a few people who you really care about and it makes you write songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm lucky that I had that outlet. I mean, it happens to everybody. Uh, I'm no different than anyone in that respect. But uh, as you grow older, things change. People in your life change and stuff. And uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I, I got really lucky to have that outlet because if I didn't have it, I probably would have gone crazy. And through that, I could write so much. And uh, it was interesting because I just like scribbled out lyrics and stuff for a couple of songs on the album. Mm -hmm. I just like found them somehow, like years, like a couple of years later. And I realized they would kind of fit with this song I was working on, or this song the band was working on, and stuff. It was cool how it all kind of came together over time. Yeah. Yeah, just in little scraps and pieces. Yeah, it's usually how we write, and then we'll all kind of come up with riffs and ideas. Mm -hmm. But on the road, we don't write together all that much. It just, there's a lot of downtime, but it's kind of a big to do to get everyone huddled in this room and kind of go over songs with like all the drums are set up. You know, if you want to do it on stage during a sound check, yeah. it's annoying for everyone working at a venue to hear you play the same yeah. 30 seconds yeah. of a song yeah. over and over. You know what I mean? So we figured we'll just come up with all of us separately with little ideas and put them together there. Yeah, and it fits. Yeah, somehow it all it fits. It fits together pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a producer? That we work with the same guy on all our albums, his name is Steve Nyson. And uh, yeah, he's, he, he knows our band really well and he knows the sound we're going for. It's been easy to work with. This record was the easiest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just went in and recorded it. It was like, the, like almost every song we recorded, it's the only recording ever of those songs. We didn't do any demos or anything. We just, they were pretty much already finished too, right? Yeah. We went in, we just went in, we're like, these are the songs. Okay. <laughs> we did it. That's how they turned yeah. out. And um, do you have a oh, producer? Do you have some, some rules, or do you, can you can you make can you do what you want? There's two. Yeah, there's no rules. It's just, you know, the songs were pretty much already done. We didn't really have any ideas. Oh, yeah. And that's where the discussion of changing stuff really comes into play. Yeah, but everything was already done, and we weren't really expecting it too much. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. I, there are no rules. I would say that there are rules. Okay. We work with it. no keyboard. No, <laughs> that's, that's probably one of the only rules. A synth. Uh, I think there was some synth. There's there's piano on the record which you can barely hear, yeah. but just don't have a keyboard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just, we broke our only rule. <laughs> I just uh, thought it because um, the new album is a little bit more poppy. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. But it's 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 going in, you know. It's it's the most like uh, it was the most like stripped down recording approach we ever 
done before. We just went in and like we didn't like do instrument by instrument and like track it all and make sure it all like fit perfectly on like the, the metronome or anything. We just went in all together and played the songs, which was fun. But I don't think there are many rules with with, with us in the studio because we've been working with Steve for so long. They're like he can come up with an idea and if we like it we'll try it. If we don't like it do it. Mm -hmm. And the, the other way around, we have something that he really thinks should change. Mm -hmm. We'll listen to him, and if, he's, and if in the end he feels right, we'll go with his ideas. Yeah. It's a nice relationship. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've known him for a long time. Oh, okay. there's, no, there's no worry of stepping on anything. Yeah. yeah, we've, we've always thought it would be like, well, you know, everyone in every band always fantasizes uh, about working with like this producer or this producer. This and it's like something we'll always think about, you know, but it's kind of nice having that comfort level. So we'll just go in and be like, you can like, you know, if he has a bad idea or he gets something on your nerves and he's being shot. Like, we're going to do my yeah. way. We're going to do my way. And then if they, they got the other way around, if he's like, you guys should show me. We love you, Steve. We love you, Steve. If you see this. No, no, no. But I'm saying if, if, if he has an idea and he's like, you guys should shut up and listen to me. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's great. And you said um, that that language is very conflicted. What is that? Oh, I think just like lyrically, uh, the last record was all about being away, and I was we were always away on tour at this home. So a lot of the songs ended up being like that. And uh, this time, we were, like, while we were writing the record, we were like home a lot, being away a lot, like you know, back and forth. Right? Mm -hmm. So I just, just in like when I when I look back and think of like my like mind frame when I was writing lyrics, and just seeing this, like I never know where I want to go if I want to be home or I want to be on the road or whatever. It's, uh, I guess it makes for an interesting record. I hope. Okay. Yeah. Good. And what was uh, the 